Hey guys, how are you? This is Raphael from Yoshida Click. Today we are going to talk about dimensions with conditional or set analysis, which is for you to filter here the dimensions that you don't want to appear in your bar chart or pie chart or in the table. Uh, and well, I'll give an example here in the table to make it easier, okay? I'll be putting it here first. I will be filtering, for example, the dimension of stores. But you know, I don't want store 2, for example, to show up. So. Neither store 2 nor store 3. I just want store 1 to show up. So you know. I just don't want to filter her that way. I want to put a direct conditional so that my graph looks like this. So. We will be choosing only store 1. How do I do it? Well, I come here in this dimension. I'm going to write store here in the title, and I'm going to put a conditional on it. Options I can do to only let store 1 appear. I can put a simple if, when the store was equal to store 1, it brings me the store, store 1, it brings me store, I'll apply and remove the null values. Here, store space 1, store space 1, when it's store equals store space 1, he brings me. Here I have practically filtered the dimensions, there are no more stores 2 or 3. If I want to do this with a grouping, for example, I just want to get the conditional here. I'm going to be going back to the store and here on the dates, I want to do a conditional to show me the last five months. I just want to see the last five months of my entire bank. How do I do it? Well, here comes the date. I'll be putting the date here and putting the conditional here with the virtual table to bring the last five months. How do I do it? Put here like the virtual table. Put here if. Then let's put if data is greater than or equal to my last five months. So I'll put max total data five, max total data five. It's my top five that I want to bring. Comma date. And in my virtual table, I'm going to bring this by date. Well, what am I doing here? Here he will create a virtual table organized by date. It will compare the date with my fifth largest date in my entire database with the selected filters. And it will bring me, if the date is greater, equal to the fifth greater date. It will filter everything and only bring me the top five dates. The total is why? Because when he creates a virtual table, he will be creating different dimensions from the field I played here. It could be data, it could be a client, but it will be based on the field I played here. So you need to put total so that it ignores the dimensions, okay? I'm going to apply it here and I'm going to remove null values. Look for you to see. He listed it here for me only. Let me organize it here, the five biggest dates. It only has seven, six, five, four, and three. They are the top five. Stop. This here is a way you can do it with the virtual table. It has already been shown with the simple if and now we can do it with seven analyzes so you can have an idea. I will be returning here to date. Well, same as date. And, for example, now I want to show stores 1 and 3 because they have revenues above 600,000. How can we be doing this? I came here in the store. I will also be putting it as a virtual table. It can be a virtual table. I will want to divide it by store. Create a division by store. Here, I can put it like this, on, for it to show only the store that we can put here the seven analyzes we want. Greater than 600,000 and it didn't bring me anything. It didn't bring me anything because I didn't put the function syntax here in the seven analyses. Here I need to put equal quotes and close with quotes here. Now yes. Shop the same, then I put the synthesis. Equal to some greater than 600,000. No, now it worked. Oh, I... If you are also filtering your dimension with set analysis, only brings unique value. As I put it to aggregate by store, each store only has it. So all it will always bring the dimension value. It was just to put the seven analyzes inside it. No. So the sum of value greater than 600,000 that is, only stores 1 and 3. There won't be a store 2 here, see?
there is no longer store 2, because within the 7 analyses, I set to bring only the store that the sum is greater than 600,000, okay? Well, that was the tip of the day. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I thank everyone who follows me on the channel. If you need anything, if you have any questions, leave a comment on the videos, okay? I wish you all much success and until next time.